Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Microprocessor 8086 video lecture series and in this video I'll explain you generation of control signals in Microprocessor 8086. Now before I explain you how to generate control signals you should have this question why should we generate control signals. So for that you should understand few basic things. My dear students, if you observe pin diagram of microprocessor 8086, it is having three pins for control signals, read bar, write bar, then memory IO bar. And here we wanted to have four control signals, memory read, memory write, IO read and IO write. So here my dear students, microprocessor is having three pins for control signals and we wanted to have four control signals. That's why here we need to generate it. If there are four pins, then microprocessor would have given directly those four control signals. But here we have three pins. That's why we need to generate those four control signals, memory read, memory write, IO read and IO write. So let us try to understand how to do this generation of control signals. So my dear students, you should know 8086 is having three control terminals for read, write and IO memory operation. And we need to have four operations, right? Those four operations are memory read, memory write, IO read and IO write. And here we'll be using three terminals, read bar, write bar, memory IO bar to have generation of these four control signals. Let us try to understand first how these terminals are functioning in 8086. So my dear students, memory IO bar terminal explains memory and IO operation. How it explains? If this terminal is equals to logic 1, there will be memory operation with 8086. And as if this terminal is logic 0, there will be IO operation with this 8086. And for read bar, if this terminal is logic 0, microprocessor 8086 will read data. And for write bar, if it is logic 0, then microprocessor will write data. Now here there are few basic things that you should know. My dear students, read and write, that cannot happen simultaneously. So whenever read bar is logic 0, write bar should be logic 1. It means there will be read operation. And whenever read, write bar is logic 0 and read bar should be logic 1 means there will be write operation. Right. And that read and write that can happen with memory or IO. That is based on this line. If this line is 1, memory operation. If this line is 0, IO operation. Now how to use these lines to have generation of those four control signals, for that my dear students will be using 328 decoder. 328 decoder means what? There are three inputs. I have connected it with A, B, C and there are eight outputs. My outputs are Y0 bar, Y1 bar up to Y7 bar. Now before I use this IC, let us try to understand first how to enable this IC. 7413832828 decoder. To enable this IC, here we have three enable terminals. You see this G1 means that is active high terminal and here we have G1 bar means these are active low terminal. Now active high terminal is connected with VCC and this active low terminal is connected with ground means this decoder will get selected. Once this decoder is selected, you can operate with this decoder. Now before I explain you generation of control signals, let me explain you how this decoder is working. It is very simple. As if here we have logic 0, 0, 0, then Y0 will get selected. If it is 0, 0, 1, then Y1 will get selected. If it is 0, 1, 0, Y2 will get selected. If it is 0, 1, 1, Y3 will get selected. Similarly, if it is 111, Y7 will get selected. 
So I think now based on binary number, how to select this line that is clear to you. Now what is the meaning of selection? Selection means here you see this is active low output lines. Means for example if I say if y3 is getting selected means here there will be logic 0. And as this is logic 0, other should be logic 1. So whatever a line is getting selected, that will be having logic 0, other lines will be logic 1. Right, that is the meaning of selection. Now let us try to understand how to generate control signal. So let us try to understand first how we can have IO read operation. So for IO read operation, we are performing IO. IO means input output operation. So for input output operation, this M IO bar, that should be 0. So let us say this is 0. Now what we want to do read. For read, read bar should be 0 and write bar should be 1. So 0, 0, 1 means which line will get selected? Y1. So at Y1, we'll be having IO read bar. And why there is a bar? The reason is it is active low selection, right? Now similarly, we will be having IO write bar selection. So for IO write bar, for IO, this line that should be 0 and for write, write should be 0, read should be 1. So 0, 1, 0. So that will be selecting Y2 line. So Y2 bar that will be having IO write signal, right? Now let us see what is happening with memory read. So for memory read, you see, we need to have memory operation. Now with memory operation, memory IO bar, that should be logic 1. And for read, this read bar should be 0 and write bar should be 1. So 1, 0, 1 means 5. So Y5 will get selected for memory read. So with Y5, memory read will get selected, right? And memory read bar that I need to write as this is active low selection. For memory write, my dear students, with memory IO bar, we have memory operation and with memory operation, this should be 1 and with write bar, write will be 0, read will be 1. So 1, 1, 0 means 6. So Y6 will get selected for memory write. So memory write bar is over here. So my dear students, now what we have done is by using these three lines, we have generated four control signals. So there are main four machine cycles that is there with 8086 and with those four machine cycles, these are very essential control signals and these control signals that we give it with input output as well as memory. So whenever you have memory like RAM and ROM at that time directly we will be using this control signals for memory read and memory write and with IO read and IO write we will be using these signals directly when we want to interface 8086 with IO device. So I think now my dear students, it is clear to you how we can generate control signal by using decoder. I hope it is clear to you. Still, if any confusion is there, what I want is you should place your comments, right? I'm just watching your comments based on that only I'm making videos. So just make sure to write something so that I can have some motivation, right? Thank you so much for watching this video.